There she is. Lego City. Hey everybody, Briquette here showing how to unlock all 21 characters in Auburn and two characters on the Auburn Bay Bridge in Lego City Undercover. The first one I'm getting is the mechanic from the disguise booth. They swapped the characters in the remastered version with the ones on the Wii U. On the Wii U, you get the Harbor Worker, also spelled with a U. <laughs> in this remastered version, you get the Harbor Worker over the Sky Glide Super Build, which is later on in this video. See the description below this video to see the times of all the character tokens in Auburn and on the Auburn Bay Bridge. The mechanic is a special two in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. Characters in the special categories have real-life Lego minifigures of them. These are all characters that are not from special assignments or city challenges. On the map, you can see how many you already unlocked out of the total in that district. This stunt ramp gives us the race car driver and costs 10,000 bricks to build. The race car driver is a special one in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. If you wait a few seconds, some of these special characters have a unique animation. <laughs> Over that wall is one of the boxes, which we'll do later, that we have to paint red with the robber's color gun. But now we're going for Ali Jeshki, or however you pronounce it. <laughs> hmm, I thought there was something in there. I hesitated here, so I had to get swinging again. <laughs> My head went through the wall. There's a small super brick up here that we could use later for a super build. But here's where we start for Ali. We need to turn off the gas escaping through the hole in the pipe. This music cracks me up. Hit the right button to dig for the key. Now here's the tricky part, trying to walk on these beams without falling off. <laughs> you can also use your jetpack to bypass some of these beams. I kept falling on these cylinders the last time I tried this, so I switched to a video I made a few years ago that went much smoother. Ali Jeshki is a resident in the civilians category and costs 2,000 studs. There's a large super brick in here. Hit the right button when that red mark turns green. Yay! A big super brick! Here's where we ended up after all that. And here's where I'm going next to get four character tokens and unlock the free run. When you first get to this gate, you'll need some dynamite to blow it up. We can get some dynamite from the vending machine at the train station. Of course, if you have the unlimited dynamite red brick, you don't need to go to the train station. There are other ways to go to unlock the free run and get two other characters, but I'll show you this way now and a quicker way later if you have the jetpack. 
<laughs> Here we are on the map. There's a large super brick in that garage to help pay for the Auburn chimney. Yay! A large super brick worth 20,000 bricks with the doubler. The free run will start right here after we unlock it. You need to do this if you don't have the jetpack so you're all set when you do the free run. I guess it works better if you get closer to the fire. We can get the Deborah Graham character token right around the corner from here. Deborah Graham is a resident in the civilians category and costs 2,000 studs. Now we can build the Auburn chimney for Hazmat Guy. After I get these three character tokens, I'll show you a quicker way to get up here with the jetpack. The Auburn chimney costs 12,000 bricks. That hazmat guy up there. But wait, there's more. There's a small super brick in here. Okay, now I'll get hazmat guy. Float to the top of the smoke over each smokestack before moving to the next. It should make it easier. Hazmat guy is a special two in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. Oh no, the fumes are killing him! Okay, he's okay now. <laughs> we can keep going to unlock the free run. I'll do the actual free run in normal speed. Aim for the center line of the roof or you might not make it. So we go back here to start the free run. We could ride the pig to the cannon or we could get Louie Mitchell right here and then do the free run. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. When I first saw this, I thought I was supposed to stand on that can and jetpack up there, but that didn't work. This was not easy to do. I just got lucky that time. Louis Mitchell is a resident in the civilians category and costs 2,000 studs. Here's a different way to get to the propane tank for Deborah Graham and to the Auburn chimney for Hazmat Guy with the jetpack and to unlock the free run. Deborah Graham was behind that propane tank. And we can go back to the beginning of the free run this way also.
or we can get to it through the gate. There's the unlocked free run. So let's get to it. Pick up every clock for extra time and so you can get the character token at the end. Dox Foreman is a construction worker and costs 10,000 studs. Now I'll head on over to the beach for the garage worker. Here's the first thing we need to build. Then this sand castle. Then this lifeguard station. And one more palm tree. Garage worker is a construction worker and costs 10,000 studs. Now we'll go paint some bananas yellow for the Samson Crow character token. Here's where we are on the map. There's a yellow color swapper over here if you need one. It's near this six on the ground. <laughs> 
Samson Crow is a resident in the civilians category and costs 2,000 studs. Just past the yellow color swapper is a red one for the next two character tokens. The character token will end up right here, so I'll start at the far end of the beach. I wasn't able to shoot in the water, so I got up to the edge of the water with a pretty straight line to the buoy. Yeah, it doesn't work at an angle that far away. And it doesn't work in the water. There. <laughs> Number three. The fifth and last one is way over there. The token is right by the blue and white cans. Hot Tub McCready is a criminal and costs 10,000 studs. Almost to the end. <laughs> now we can go get Violet de Berg by painting three boxes red. Here's where one of three boxes are that we need to color red. My gun still has red in it from the boys. I guess I could have turned right at that fence, but I want to smash through a wall coming up. This one. It's always in the way. And what are Lego bricks for anyway? For smashing up, right? <laughs> oh, by the way, if you want to turn off that annoying siren, just press down on the left stick. Unfortunately, that only works on the vehicle you're driving. Here's where another box is to paint red. That's the second one. It's pretty hard to read that. The third one is a little north of the disguise booth and the stunt ramp that I built at the beginning.
The character token is way back by the bananas. Violet the Berg is a resident in the civilians category and costs 2,000 studs. The docks crane driver is at the top of that crane on the right. Switch to a police disguise to swing across this gap. Careful up here because the camera keeps moving and it will make you fall. Right here, too. Spam the jump button until you get to the top. Doc's crane driver is a construction worker and costs 10,000 studs. Now I'm going to jetpack over to the other pier to get Sarah Horner. If you don't have the jetpack, you can go up that way. If you have the jetpack, you can go up that way. Oh man, the camera is not making this easy. It keeps flipping all over the place. Sarah Horner is a resident in the civilians category and costs 2,000 studs. Now I'm going to get Clown Robber Mac. The token for Clown Robber Max is inside that cage. Clown Robber Max is a criminal and costs 10,000 studs. Next up is the tow truck driver, which we can get in this maze. The clock starts the second you hear that beeping sound, so start running. Make sure you go between these two containers. We need to collect all the studs in this maze. The attract studs red brick will help with this. I'm just showing again that you need to go between these two containers in case it didn't work for you. The tow truck driver is a construction worker and costs 10,000 studs.
We can get three character tokens starting near this call-in point super build. We can get three character tokens from here. Paul Flanagan is up this ladder and to the left. Hit the right button when the red mark turns green. You get Chris Perry on the Wii U. Paul Flanagan is a resident in the civilians category and costs 2,000 studs. If we go to the right, we can get Bobby Hammer and the Harbor Worker. That goes to a water tower a block away. Bobby Hammer is a construction worker and costs 10,000 steps. You can also get up here with this ladder. What's going on? We get the harbor worker over this water tank, but we get the mechanic on the Wii U. I don't know why, but they swapped them in the remastered version of this game. You get the harbor worker by building the disguise booth in Auburn on the hey, Wii U. The Sky Glide Super Build costs 12,000 bricks. The harbor worker is a construction worker and costs 10,000 studs. We can get Richard Thomas at the gas station right here. <laughs> I'm surprised I was able to switch characters while I was floating up here. Ah, it's through there. Here's the gas station where we can get Richard Thomas or Stephen Rose on the Wii U. Richard Thomas is a resident in the civilians category and costs 2,000 studs. The next character token, Avery Cruz, is a tough one. Getting her starts kind of near the train station. You get Lance Lindberger on the Wii U instead of Avery. <laughs> Lindberger sounds like the cheese. <laughs> There's the train station for reference. That camera gets me every time. It's possible to jetpack up there by standing on the red pot first, but it's not that easy. <laughs> Whoa, saved by the jetpack. This is the really tough part.
Ride the smoke up all the way, then move forward enough to ride the next one up. I kept going too far or not far enough, and then I'd fall. If you go too far, you can pull back on the stick quickly and come back. Avery Cruz is a police officer and costs 80,000 studs. Wow. We can get to Henrik Kowalski's character token from this corner, which is across the street and to the left. You can wade over to the ladder, or you can fill this up and swim to the wall. <laughs> Spam that jump button. Go to the left here for Henrik Kowalski. There was a small super brick up there. Now it's a blue stud. <laughs> Henrik Kowalski is an astronaut and a resident, but you only get the astronaut version of him in Auburn. You can get the resident version of him in Special Assignment 13. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Henrik Kowalski is an astronaut and costs 60,000 studs. There are two character tokens we can get on the Auburn Bay Bridge. I think it's easier to use these bouncy things without the jetpack, but sometimes it works. Hold the jump button to bounce higher. There's a red brick that we can get while we're up here. It's a data scan upgrade for finding red bricks. Okay, back to getting Dumumbo. <laughs> Hold the left stick to the left so you don't fall. This was the hardest free run for me, but parts of it like this were fun. Especially when I got a rhythm going on these twirl poles. This is really tough because we can't move the camera to see where we are. And then the camera moves on its own as we go around the corner, which could mess us up. In case you just want Demumbo and you don't want to bother with this thing, here's a cheat code for Demumbo. J Q T T M W. But if you want 100% this game, you have to do the free run anyway. Demumbo is a police officer and costs 100,000 studs. Like Columbo, the detective. 
Now we can unlock the free run for the fitness instructor. And while we're up here, we can conquer the district of the Auburn Bay Bridge. If you can jump over the edge and hit this railing, you can get three small super bricks and some studs. Plus, it's fun. <laughs> the camera turned right here and made me fall to the left. So now that I got back up here, I can do the free run for the fitness instructor. For me, it was easier to switch to a character without the jetpack to bounce on this thing. Then I switched back to the jetpack in case I fall. Sometimes you can recover from a fall with it. Hold the stick to the left while you're springing over there so you don't fall. Move outwards a little bit and then go to the right. The camera will move towards the end, so maybe slow down a bit. If you don't want to do this free run and just want the character, here's a cheat code for the Auburn Bay Bridge free run character token, the fitness instructor, RVCJWS. Just make the last character blank and then hit the select button. But you still have to do the free run if you want 100% this game. <laughs> don't miss that clock right there. 7 out of 7. Wow, that's weird. The timer didn't stop after I ran through it. I had to run through it again. The fitness instructor is a special two in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, which I really appreciate, and subscribe to see when I upload new videos. See you next time!